I'll show you how I clean a glass stove top. After a while, you get these stains like this, and I've tried everything. What I find works is 1200 grit sandpaper and then toothpaste. These stubborn stains, I just use the sandpaper with water. I'll just do half the stain so we can see the difference. I just go in a circular pattern, and you can see it's really starting to cut that stain off. You can see the glass is really shiny. Like right in here, we still have some work to do. But this technique has worked really well. Once I get this little section here clean, I'll wipe it all off so you can see the difference. Half the area cleaned up, I'll go ahead and wipe it up so we can see the difference. Take a rag and just wipe it all down. With everything wiped off, you can see there's a big difference. What's nice about this technique is it does not take these rings out that are supposed to be on the stove because they're underneath the glass on the other side. Instead of doing everything by hand, I'll show you another way that'll speed this process up I've a little bit. I've got this attachment for this drill. I've got Velcro Take on one sponge side. like this and just set it down onto the sand. water down on the surface. Set the sandpaper into the water. Let the drill do the work. Just make sure you keep plenty of water in with the sandpaper. It's not like it's an easy job. This is just making it possible. Just over the entire area. We're making some good progress in here. I'm going to go ahead and put some toothpaste to help cut Colgate, well. but I find any toothpaste works. There's real fine abrasives in this stuff. I'll do one side of the stove and then I'll show you the difference. Just keep adding water. I'll wipe everything down and we'll see where we're at. Well, that's not done yet, but you can see there's a huge improvement compared to what it used to look like this. I'll show you what it looks like with 800. We'll wipe it off and see how the 800 did. I can still see some spots here. And, and I'm not touching this area at all so we can see the difference of where we started. Definitely a big improvement. Here's where we started. I can still see some in here. There's a bit here and a bit here still. But when you stand back, you can see a big difference. I know what everybody's thinking. Why don't you just try 400 grit? Since it's my stove and not yours, okay, we'll do it. 400 will definitely cut easier. Initially, I don't see any scratching in the glass with the 400, and it did seem to pull out some more of those stains. We'll wipe it down and we'll compare it to the original spot here. The 400 grit sandpaper really took off those stains. Yeah, I can still see some, but not very much. This is almost completely gone. This, there's something right in here, but overall, it looks way better than this. Some of the other techniques that I've tried are a blade and I've scraped and scraped and scraped and it just won't come off. I've tried all kinds of other things. Oven cleaner, I've tried ketchup, you name it. Vinegar. So far the best thing that I've tried is this 400 grit sandpaper and toothpaste. Now I'm in no way suggesting that you take sandpaper to your stove. In fact, if you've got any techniques that work, please leave them in the comments below.